Thousands of people have been leaving every day from areas in northern Iraq, which used to be held by ISIL. This bus is carrying people from Mosul and from Talafar, the last ISIL stronghold in northern Iraq. In 2014, when ISIL took control, 200,000 people lived there. Close to three quarters of those have now left. Thousands more refugees are on the move. But the sweltering heat and the harsh journey to safety is too much for the most vulnerable. Abu Ahmed is diabetic and it took him several days to reach this camp. Under ISIL control, they were living in desperate conditions. Abu Ahmed was treated at a clinic. He's resting outside because the tent is just too hot. Our life was very bad. The only food we got during the past 10 months was burgul and wheat flour. Abu Ahmed mustered enough energy to speak. In broken sentences, he says he walked with his daughters 16 hours to a Peshmerga position, then directed to Iraqi army, then to Hamam al alil camp where they spent two days. Then they went to Mosul, got stranded for another few days, and then they arrived here. Aid workers say people coming out of Talafar are in a worse shape than those who fled Mosul earlier this year. When people arrive, they're in a terrible psychological state and frightened. You can see fear in their faces. You can see the effect of lack of food and malnutrition. One of the biggest problems is their health. Their children have not been vaccinated and many are suffering from lack of treatment and medicine. Iraqi forces are screening those leaving the city and that's adding to the misery of civilians who are waiting at temporary shelters. We simply don't have enough space for them in the temporary transit site that we have in Amam al-Lil. There's over 7,000 people there now, we're managing, but if we have to accommodate thousands more, I don't think we'll cope and they'll be in quite unsanitary, unhumane conditions. Iraqi army, federal police and Shia militias or popular mobilization forces have besieged Tal Afar and ISIL positions are being targeted by Iraqi and coalition airstrikes. An estimated 50,000 people still remain in Tal Afar and its surrounding areas. Many here told us how they walked the entire night to reach safety. Now many of them have reached safety, but a future of dependence on aid and uncertainty awaits them. Osama bin Jaweed al-Jazeera at the Khazar camp in northern Iraq.